document I want to read here is about the judiciary executive deal should get Kenyans worried. We raised alarm when information emerged that the head of the judiciary, Madam Martha Komi, was seeking a meeting with the head of the executive, Mr. William Ruto, supposedly to iron out differences between the two branches of government. This followed a threat by Ruto and some members of his party and the administration against the judiciary following a string of unfavorable rulings against the executive. We warned that there was more than met the eye in the threats by Ruto and the request for a meeting by Madame Comey. We warned then that Mr. Ruto's real intention was to complete the capture of the branches of the government by the executive by taking over the judiciary, forced it to forever rule in his favor, in addition to populating the institution with the loyalists. We also warned that in, the, in this entire plan, the judiciary was showing signs of willingness to prostrate itself before the presidency in an agreement or in an arrangement that spells grave danger for the rule of law and the entire country. We now know what transpired at a State House meeting and it is completely different from the lie the country was fed after that event. We can now confirm that there exists an elaborate plan that will allow Ms. Ruto to appoint friendly judges to the judiciary with the complete concurrence of Chief Justice Comey. This was among the issues discussed and agreed on during the ill-advised meeting between Ruto and Comey at State House. At the meeting, the Chief Justice and Mr. Ruto reached an agreement that will supposedly allow Mr. Ruto to provide additional funding to the judiciary. In return for this additional funding, Justice Kome is to advertise vacancies for five additional High Court judges and 11 Court of Appeal judges. This is in addition to the 20 High Court judges advertised last year. As a matter of fact, the advertisement of the 11 judges has just been done today. It is in the today's Gazette. In that agreement, the five High Court judges and two Court of Appeal judges will be for Mr. Ruto to forward to the JSC. And he floated the names. Immediate former IBC chairman, Mr. Fulache Bukati, and former IBC chairman, Ahmed Isaac Hassan, are to be appointed as Court of Appeal judges, with Chebukati being later being elevated as the Chief Justice before the 2027 general elections. The targeting of the High Court and the Court of Appeal by Ruto is intentional. The administration believes it has completely captured the Supreme Court and now wants to target the problematic lower courts by stuffing them with loyalists with the cooperation of the Chief Justice. After filling the executive with people of questionable integrity and capacity and who will remain eternally grateful to him, Mr. Ruto is looking to set up a user-friendly judiciary full of people with questionable paths and limited capacity. And unfortunately, the Chief Justice is gladly smiling along and playing the ball. Officially, Mr. Ruto is supposed to have agreed to give additional funding to the judiciary. 
That is a cover-up. The judiciary does not draw any funding from the executive or state house. Article one, seven, no, sorry. Article one seventy three of the Constitution of Kenya established the Judiciary Fund, which is administered by the Chief Justice uh, Register of the Judiciary. Sorry, which is administered by the Chief Register of the Judiciary. The provision of the Judiciary Fund as contained in Article 173 states as follows. One, there is established a fund to be known as the Judiciary Fund, which shall be administered by the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary. Two, the fund Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi, our president of Comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman, Pedi wa Magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa stories za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. Na uwe ndo dori, subscribe right now. Pina saa hii. Sa wewe vina.